All right, good afternoon. So th September 20th, Monday, 1214. All right, this is the Market Pulse. Let's see what's going down. Let's dive in. Uh, there's a lot of activity happening in the marketplace. Let me just start off by saying that the VIX is at 26. VIX at 18 is normal during this period of time. 26 is, means there's a lot of fear. The VIX needs to blow off. So for any signs of reversal, um, it's just showing me a humongous green candlestick. Doesn't mean it's going to stay green for very long. But uh, we just need to see a blow off in the VIX to see if, if any signs of reversal. So going back to the XPX here. Now, let me just start off by saying everything I'm looking at here is a 15 minute time frame. So we're going to be looking at entries and exits at the 15 minute time frame. A very short term, but very high volatile stocks. So again, uh, XPX showed me weakness on Friday. Friday, we talked about seeing weakness. On Friday, it broke the 50-day moving average right off the bat at 44.60. Could not break the highs all last week at 44.85, 44.90. So during a pullback, we expect a bounce. So this is a little tip. When we see consolidation in that time frame, either two things are happening. They're either distributing stock or accumulating stock, meaning are they selling or buying? Clearly, they were selling stock during this period of time. Uh, Friday, we got an indication because it broke to 50 and we saw the MACDs losing momentum or going to the downside, creating momentum to the downside. So this was an entry on Friday. If you're sitting on puts, you did extremely well. And uh, just wait. I wouldn't buy puts at this moment of time. You might get lucky, but you're too far away from the 50. So it is trying to form a base. Let's see if we can form a base. I'm going to see if the VIX can blow off. But basically right now, I would just sit and chill um just wait uh the nasdaq same type of thing remember the nasdaq we saw came uh basically this period of 15 6 couldn't break above it during that pullback it was not a pullback they're either what distributing or accumulating so selling buying or selling they were selling into this close and we saw a little indication right here on the macd's losing momentum right on friday same indication with with the uh, sbx and the nasdaq so basically they were selling going into friday and this morning it just continues so they're selling tech okay so again just keep in mind it's trying to form a base don't chase we're too far away from the 50 and uh might get lucky but not really a good trade so let it come back up again the russell same type of thing we got a little bit of a bounce on the russell but not enough and basically we saw that it couldn't break above this uh 2250 and the uh, resistance just became lower and lower and lower so this morning the russell showed extremely weakness and just sold off to 2168 uh and we got the entry for the russell so to, this morning was a perfect entry on russell why macd bounced off a zero to the downside and we had a 50-day moving average bounce so it's telling me that it's probably going to go lower considering that these already went so remember these went first russell followed afterwards um now, Alpha, uh, Google, Alphabet, we saw weakness. This was one of the strongest ones going into last week. But on Friday, we saw the same thing that broke down on the XPX and NASDAQ. So basically, it sold off. It's trying to form a base. I see if Google can turn around. It was one of the strongest ones. It's holding that 2750 or trying to hold it. Let's see if it can hold it. But right now, it's one of the ones that is being sold. Amazon same type of thing on friday again this was a, one of the the uh, xpx and the x went and alphabet went off the bat this one held strong but basically show me a sell-off too so you're in amazon on puts then basically uh you're doing well this is trying to form a base let it form a base don't chase it we're too far away from the 50 but let's see if we can turn around let's look for reversal patterns tesla this morning again on friday was holding pretty strong um, this one sold, um, just like, remember, the whole market would drag everything down. But basically, during pre-market, it tried to go. Uh, this candlestick, but sellers came in and are driving the stock price down. So, again, the area that we're going to hold, this Tesla is trying to form a base. It's probably one of the strongest ones out of all of them. But let's see what happens. Let's see if this 732 area can hold. Can it at 736 can get it going? Again, I wouldn't chase this trade. Uh, right now, potentially, if you want to take a trade right now to the upside, you can probably take a trade to the upside. It's probably going to meet the 743 from 730. But again, the line in the sand, it would be get out if it reverses right away. But the MACDs are probably trying to form and meet up with this 50-day moving average. Now, 
there is some demand right here, but there is supply right in here, the 740. So just keep in mind, it'll be a short, short term trade. That's the only thing I like at this moment. Um, ISRG, ISRG could not break above that 1050 area, strong line in the sand, and it's breaking down with the rest of the marketplace. This morning, you had an entry because of Mac, the 50 day moon is going down. MACDs are going down. It tried to break above 50. This was a perfect opportune time to take a trade to the downside. So again, it's working out. Not forming a base. This is not forming a base. It's probably going to go lower to probably a thousand. Looks like uh, Chipotle, the strongest one going into Friday. But remember, it doesn't matter how strong you are. If the stock market, the indices are going down, it's going to drag drag everything with it. Chipotle did try to hold strong this morning, but the whole market is taking it down with it. Let it take it down. There'll be another opportunity. But I'm going to keep my eye on Chipotle because it's showing me some uh the sell-off is not as severe as some other ones so if the market turns around i think chipotle is probably one that's probably going to come back in as well as tesla so those are the ones i keep my eye on um let's look at apple apple again i've noticed some weakness last week as i mentioned we noticed that there was supply this is the daily chart on apple there was supply right here there was sorry demand up here but on friday that demand was taken out and we broke the 50. So on Friday, and you notice, and this is why I look at the hourly charts on Apple, we couldn't break above the 50-day moving average on Apple. That was giving me that uh, suggestion that there was uh, a tremendous amount of selling. So there was basically a lot of supply to sell and it's being sold off at this moment of time. Now, Apple was one of the strongest one. So let's see how low it can go. But I wouldn't look at Apple until the break around 147. It's at 142 right now. Um, at some moment, it's going to have to come up to the 50-day moving average. And uh, on the 15-day, we're noticing a base trying to be formed. Let's see if it gets formed. Uh, what else do we have? AMC and uh, GameStop. GameStop was the strongest one out of all of them, and so was AMC. AMC is being sold off, so from 47 down to $40. Um, as you can see, I had the AWOPS and uh, uh, volume profile up here. The most volume traded within this period of time, we couldn't trade above it. It just told me more selling pressure than buying pressure. Same thing with GameStop. This is the um, volume profile. So basically, we can never break above this 215, 216 area. So there's the most volume traded within this period of time. That's telling me that we're selling below it. Now, GameStop does look a little stronger than AMC. So keep that on the watch for NASA. The sell-off on uh, GameStop is not as severe as the rest of the market. You keep that on, the, on your watch. Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, we are seeing some demand here around this 42, 43 area. Can the demand uh, be strong enough to hold this selling pressure that's occurring here? The MACDs are turning. If we break below zero and we broke the 50-day, this is a good opportunity to short Bitcoin or get out of your Bitcoin strategies if you're trading within a short period of amount of time. Uh, how low can Bitcoin go? Um, it looks like it probably can go down to this uh, 40,000 area. Okay, so keep keep that on a watch and um, just looking for any reversal patterns. But this is a lower high than that high. And then uh, we broke the 50 and uh, we broke the 200 day moving average as well, which is a big deal. And the MACDs are turning down. So it's telling momentum is going down. MicroStrategies follows Bitcoin. So Bitcoin goes down, MicroStrategy goes down. That's a pretty simple trade. Um, again, no trades here. It is trying to reverse. Uh, let's see how high it can go. It can go up to the 50-day moving average. Ethereum, uh, trying to hold. There's demand right at this 33,000, 3,000 level. And basically, is the demand strong enough? The MACDs are telling me there's weakness occurring. Um, so why, why is this all occurring? Well, let's figure out. Evergrande, which is the biggest real estate developer in China, is basically going bankrupt. They're just going kaput, and uh, they might not be bailed out. So why is that a problem? Well, basically, uh, banks own, uh, banks are invested in that company. So if banks are invested in that company and they just took a bath, then they're going to be forced to sell other assets. And those assets would include the major indices, uh, the SPX, the SPY, Apple, crypto, so that's what we're going to see a little bit of sell off in these sectors. So again, there is a major opportunity occurring. Also, the Fed is meeting. So is the Fed going to taper or not taper? So basically, are they going to stop buying um, equities? 
much more than likely they are and will they raise interest rates it's not a bad thing to me it's a cleansing thing i think they should raise interest rates but that's about my personal opinion but never mind that trade what you see let's see what the market is doing uh ultimately just hang tight if you play puts congratulations kudos to you we're doing great you're killing it if you're not then uh basically just hang tight don't worry there'll be another opportunity coming up soon all right guys go get it and uh we'll talk wait we'll talk tomorrow